Well, now let's see if we can find a formula for the area of a decagon. So we're going to use a rectangle again to help us. The rectangle is really kind of a facilitator for all this work, isn't it? So let's just build our decagon here. Okay, so as we're taking a look at our decagon, let's identify some of the some of the parts. We have our perimeter all the way around the outside, and we have this apothem here that I want to keep an eye on. See it right there? Okay, so as we are placing these back into the rectangle to help us with our area formula. Let's just pay attention to what we're using. So as I'm building the base of this rectangle, look at what the base is. It's half the perimeter. Now let's take a look at our height of the rectangle. Oh, look at that. The height is the apothem. So if we want to find the area of a decagon, we could take the perimeter divided by two times the apothem, just like we saw here. Here's half the perimeter and the apothem. I wonder if you could use this formula to find the area of other polygons.